Hello, today I'm bringing you a quick review about the new sunscreen mousse that I found at Ulta. It is new <laughs> and I went to get it because I absolutely hate wearing sunscreen but I said you know what let's go ahead and try this one out and uh, this one has an SPF of 30 so let's see what we got. So this vacation classic whip is found at Ulta and the price is $22. It has an SPF of 30. This product caught my attention. It says that the sunscreen mousse is lighter than air. Another thing that I noticed that is foam and I'm like, you know what? Let's go ahead and try that. Usually I use liquid SPF. They usually leave a white residue on my skin. So I really, really wanted to try this one on and see how it would perform. You have your instructions on the back of the bottle. The first one is to shake that bottle well. And then you have to tilt the bottle like so and squeeze it. And you're going to have, oh, you're going to have this beautiful foam. I was smelling it and I'm like, hmm. It smells like my coffee creamer. It looks very creamy and yummy, but don't eat it, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and apply it on my skin. And I'm gonna start little by little, only on one half of my face, just to see if, you know, if there's any shine or anything too bad. But so far, it feels actually very light on the skin. Now I'm gonna go ahead and work my way on the other side. As you can see, my skin has a lot of melasma. I'm working on it. It seems that the older I get, the worse it's getting, but that's okay. We are going to fix it hopefully little by little. And one of the things that I really, really need to do is to apply sunscreen on the daily basis. The sunscreen that I was using before, it was a liquid sunscreen. It had a higher SPF. However, that sunscreen would leave a white film on my skin and it would kind of peel throughout. This one didn't. If you notice, there is, there's no white film on the skin. And uh, here is a close-up just so you guys can see. It is not sticky. Um, I did apply the sunscreen after moisturizing my skin. And uh, yeah, that's what we have so far. I'm touching it to make sure it's not, you know, it's not greasy or sticky or anything like that. But so far, so good. Do I recommend it? Yes, I certainly do.